BBC Radio Jersey. I'm going to move on and talk about a new travel show which is on the uh, Travel Channel. Uh, it's called Road Rivals. Uh, and one of those rivals is joining me for a natter now. Uh, Russ Meakin is uh, joining us now. Are you there, Russ? Hi, Tony. Yeah, it's yeah. Russ Malkin. Malkin, It yeah, doesn't I matter, can... though. That's OK. Oh, it does matter. It does matter. <laughs> yeah, it's all this excitement about Our Lady uh, swimming. Oh, no, that across. sounds really impressive. Yeah. So uh, I, I think I've got the gist of your new travel show here. So just tell us who, who the other conspirator is in this. Well, basically, I'm, you know, the adventurer that likes to ride motorbikes, which is true. And I teamed up with Charlie Speed, who's uh, an ex-male model, GQ male model of the year, I think, who loves luxury. So Aston Martin, some five-star hotels, and we travel together comparing each other's ways of travel and having a bit of a laugh and a joke and a, a little bit of a competitive spirit comes out, to be quite honest, as well. OK, so you didn't fancy swapping roles then halfway through the series? Well, no, the idea was, you know, so we start off, I think, tonight's show on Travel Channel starts off with us sort of racing from Dorchester Hotel down to sort of France, and I'm on the bike on a Ducati and he's in an Aston Martin mm -hmm. but when we get into France I said well look mate why don't you have a go on the bike and he falls in love with the bike and you know so in that sense I won again oh but, uh, I see know. apart from that were there any uh, big surprises along the way well at one point in America we had the second world war sort of trainer but fighter planes and that was like unbelievable that we got access to these things and it, again it was just a bit of an adventure where we were doing loop the loops and stall turns and you know charlie got a bit queasy so we had to land you can sense the competition <laughs> coming out a bit here tony yes but, yeah, uh, yeah. you can see where this is going yeah uh, but no we were very lucky and um you know we had some great experiences and um i just think um you know from my point of view if it inspires people to go off and have their own adventures like that lady Wendy doing that swim, she'll never forget it for the rest of her life. No, no. And she's got outside of her comfort zone. It was tough. You can hear in her voice, she said it was awful at moments, but she'll never forget it. She's achieved something. And I think that's why getting out and doing adventures is important. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just thinking, though, every time I see a new travel show come on, and I, I, I love my travel, I've got to say, Russ, uh, but I think, oh, here we go again. Two more people having a bit of a jolly. Yeah. Is it a jolly? <clears throat> well, it didn't start off as a TV show. So, I mean, my background is we do all these adventures sort of all over the planet. And that part of that, if I can be honest with you, is because I just like traveling and I like mm. seeing the world and meeting people. So for me, it sort of comes out of a, a keen interest in actually doing it. So when we originally were doing this thing with, with Charlie, with a friend of ours, Dan, who was sort of has got a, a magazine where he wanted to do a feature. And we saw these two different ways of traveling. So like Tony, you might say, when I go on holiday, I just want to get onto a beach or you might want, I don't know how you travel, but, you know, this is just opening up different ways in which people could do things. Um, you know, OK, some of it is a bit over the top from a luxury point of view, but there are lots of things that people can do out there on the planet that don't have to cost a lot. And so it wasn't it wasn't the method it wasn't let's make another TV show. It's actually let's just share our thoughts with people and see what they think. Mm. Yeah, totally get that, Russ, as well. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like to you know, go travel. You get on the plane, you get off the plane, you go to a hotel that has your home comforts and all the rest of it. But I suppose there is a, an adventurous side in me wanting to do things a little bit differently. And this is what you're trying to establish, is it? Yeah, because it's hard to do that. I think the reason that people, you know, tend to sort of go on package trip is it's easy. If you're stressed and it's difficult with families and everything, it's, it's an easier route. And I totally get it. And I've done it myself with my daughter. But... You know, the stuff that actually makes you feel better about yourself is getting out into the wilds or doing something. You know, let's say, you know, I came over to Jersey and we did an adventure together. We wouldn't we wouldn't forget it. You know, if you go wild camping on a beach for the weekend um, after you just sort of trekked over, the, you know, the moors for a bit, etc. You know, and it, it sticks with you. So what I, I did a, a, a walk along the, you know, the Hadrian's Wall with Emily, my daughter, and we've never forgotten it. Because you oh. like see something, you learn some history, you do something together with somebody that counts or matters to you, and you have a time to have a chat and a talk, and you do stuff, and it and it is, it is a great memory. Mm. And how does this? Well, you, you're a very well travelled man. I've seen some of the other stuff you've done in the past. How does this compare, say, with the stuff you did with you and McGregor? Well, the stuff with Ewan, I mean, I still travel with Charlie Borman quite a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it tends to be a sort of more of an expedition. We go, let's say, all the way through Africa or around the world, or Charlie and I sort of did the Dakar rally through North Africa, etc. This is more a sort of a philosophy of traveling when I'm with Charlie. We try different things. So there's a lot more variety within each episode. Um, 
ranging from, you know, taking a Rolls Royce onto a Texas ranch and I show him <laughs> how to ride a bike and round up cattle and then he sort of <laughs> takes me for a luxury night out in Las Vegas. So it's it's more, it's fun and it's sort of friendly, it's competitive and it, and, and hopefully it would make people think a bit and just have a laugh. Yeah, it sounds like, I was confused with the title of the show. I thought, is it Road Rivals or is it Chalk and Cheese? Because that's really what it is, isn't it? It is. I mean, Charlie and I are naturally chalk and cheese. You know, he's very stylish, the way he dresses, the way he sort of, you know, wants that type of car, that type of lifestyle. I'm really, I'm genuinely the opposite way. You know, just keep things simple. And it's all about the experience for me. So we are chalk and cheese, but we travel well together. I like him a lot. We get on well and we have fun. OK, well, what time is it on tonight then? Nine o'clock, Travel Channel. Mm -hmm. Nine o'clock this evening, if See, anybody's I in and wants to watch it. Yeah, well, it's my it's my type of show. Uh, you know, I, I like travel with a, a different twist, if you like, and we certainly get it from uh, from the stuff you've done before. Russ, uh, thanks very much for coming on. Really good to talk to you this morning on BBC Radio Jersey. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for your time. Cheers. There we are, Russ Malkin, and uh, he's on with uh, Charlie Speed tonight. Cheers, Russ. Appreciate that. Take care. You can see at nine o'clock.